Hi everyone, it's Lara and the Paw Prince Hercules, my little garden wolf. So today we are here in our guest room, which I have redecorated um, before Christmas. And I would like to show you what happened here, what have I done and tell you something about it because it was quite a process, but I had fun because I kind of needed some manual work, something that will help me to clear my head. So have fun. So I think it would be the best to start with this area. So this is my um, table. You can clearly see there is my Mac. Um, I have opened the program iMovie where I'm editing my videos and I'm gonna zoom in on the window shelf. So there is a little Christmas tree and a white lamp that is from Ikea. Now I'm gonna go a little bit closer. You might see my unicorn there and an orchid and there is a snowball and an angel and yeah the lamp that you see there um sorry and <laughs> there is a light chain with led lights and with three batteries this is a really practical thing i'm using that instead of candles then there is santa and a little crystal bell and another flower here again the unicorn and you can see next to him is a fairy and here again the snowball i think this is a little bit easier to see that and i'm gonna zoom out a little bit there's my printer it takes um it kind of takes a lot of space but that's okay because i don't really need that much space on the table well um there's a pine cone and a little um kind of dwarf or i don't know what, what would you call it a little cute figure like a gnome um, i always have those two things um in winter uh, this gondola is from Murano Glass, it's from Italy and there is a picture that one of my Czech subscribers gave me, her name is Ivanka and um, she has a cute doggy called Adelka and she sent this actually to Hercules, my doggy, for his birthday and I'm going to be repainting the frame um, in white so that it matches the room a little bit better. So that would be the window shelf and here um, on my table, so there's my Mac. And behind that, when I close it, um, I have there my pencils, yeah, and there is everything plugged in. Here I have, uh, yeah, some stuff that I need for the office. I laid it out because I need to order uh, the cartridges for my printer and I keep forgetting that, so I just put it out. Yeah, that's this part. Now I'm going to turn um, to the place behind me and I need to zoom out a little bit again. So there is kind of a little dresser um, with a lot of boxes. I put little stickers on them so that I know what is um, in which box. And um, this is kind of my vanity corner. And in the middle here, you can see there are wolves because this is actually now my wolf room. I love wolves. And these are my favorite animals, right after Hercules. And I have almost everywhere figures. I have even two wolf tattoos, so yeah, this is no surprise there. Yeah, by the way, there are my brushes. Um, they are from Nenshi. And the cup that the brushes are in is from Ikea. Over my vanity corner, uh, I placed uh, my photograph of with um, the she-wolf Naya. She's an arctic wolf, lives in Germany in a park, but she was born into the wild in Canada and was then brought by Tanya Ascani, who is a wonderful person, to Germany where she takes care of wolfies and I love her so much and it's always great when I'm able to visit Tanya and her wolves and <laughs> This picture is just hilarious because uh, we have the same expression kind of with Naya since she was chewing on my braid and uh, Tanya made pictures and asked me, yeah, you should make something that looks like you're screaming and at the same time Naya opened her mouth, so it was really funny. So right now I have on the bottom uh, of the vanity corner uh, the three purses I was wearing the most lately, but I'm gonna put them back to my shelves in our um, wardrobe because in this place I will keep my sewing machines once I uh, bring them from the atelier. There is a little chair next to my sofa on which I have a little wooden box um, which I use um, for my cups when I sit on the sofa and read so that I don't stain the chair. Uh, so here you can also see it's a cup with a wolf. It's the Nikki wolf. Yeah, I have a thing for wolves. Underneath my table I have uh, this little drawer um, thing, I don't know, what do you call it? I never know how to call those things, 
it's kind of a yeah just drawers they are also from ikea there is a box of tissues with a cover i made myself um on the radiator i never turned this on because it's quite warm also here in winter so i can keep stuff on it and there is a pillow uh, next to my table where my little garden wolf sleeps when i'm working um or studying um, the pillowcase turned out to be much bigger than I actually wanted to have so I'm, gone, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because it's not so bad and he loves it because it's quite fluffy it is a velvet with some kind of structure and uh, from the moment I brought it home he loved it so that's why I decided instead of returning it I'm going to just make it smaller I have a sofa behind me which I always had here but now it has a new cover. The cover is from IKEA and the pillowcases are also from IKEA. Um, also a blanket, this is also from IKEA. This pillow with a wolf is a gift from my friend Petra. Um, I got it for my 40th birthday and this is obviously um, a wolf pillow from Nikki. I have here also some plushies. There is um, a plush wolf and a plush chihuahua and plush Clydesdale horse because I love Clydesdales. And this is my wolf wall. Uh, these are all photographs I cut out of calendars um, that I got from Tanya uh, from Wildpark Lüneburg. These are all actual wolves that live there in the um, park Lüneburg. So for example, here in the middle, it's the three Arctic wolves, Nora, Naya and Nanook. Here's Hercules because he's the most important wolfie. And this is Naya, um, the she-wolf that I have also over my vanity corner when she was a baby. Yeah, so you have just, you can see that I clearly love those animals. And I bought those uh, frames um, at Ikea. They were actually quite cheap. And the only thing I didn't put in is the plastic front because um, then the light would reflect too much and I couldn't actually see the pictures. This wall is still a total chaos because this is where my shelf is and it is not organized um, at all. I still have to decide which stuff needs to go, which stuff I will bring from the atelier and so on. So I'm not gonna go into too many details because I don't feel really comfortable of showing you this part. But I can tell you that it is going to be all uh, black, white and pink. You can already see some uh, pink boxes uh, here next to the soft box. So this is going to be the shade of pink in combination with those colors because I kind of want to keep this room in uh, those shades. So since I'm filming at the window shelf and I mostly film during the day, I have here right now only one soft box with a little bit um, less strong light than I used um, at the atelier because this is sufficient right now. And here is my Canon camera. This is a camera I actually started to uh, film on once I started making YouTube videos in 2011 um, on my old channel, but I replaced it by my Panasonic camcorder I'm really happy with. And it is permanently on a camera stand because um, it doesn't bother anyone in this room so it's very easy I just have to connect it to my uh, computer and make my thumbnails with it uh, just per mouse click this is my chair and yeah I think this is pretty much it so what I've done in this room is first of all I had to clear the walls that were painted green and they were in kind of a structured wall paint and it was pain in the ass to get it um, off the wall. So I had to scrub the wall and file it and my husband helped me then at the end before I started painting it. And I started working on Monday and it was Thursday when it was all done because it was kind of much more work than I thought since you always have to wait between the layers until it dries and when you see that there is something you need to correct and you need to correct it then it needs to dry again but it didn't bother me because uh, Monday was actually uh, the last day it was Monday the 21st of December um, it was my last day at the university for this year and so it was no problem for me I just wanted to do something different than just editing videos or reading. I wanted to do something I normally don't do and that's why I didn't hire a professional for painting of this room because I thought you know I can make it myself or I can do it myself even if it's probably not perfect which is not but it will do and I'm really glad I've done that because I had a lot of fun. The only thing that wasn't fun was that uh, 
there was a lot of dust. I covered the whole room in plastic so that all the stuff doesn't get uh, stained or covered in dust, which worked well. But Hercules uh, was kind of stressed by the fact that everything was moved to a corner and covered. So you could tell that he didn't really feel comfortable and that was also the reason why I kind of wanted to hurry to finish it. And once I finished, then you could tell that he's very snuggly and he follows me everywhere and um, he's slowly relaxing again. And I'm really happy it's done now because I don't want my dog to feel, to feel uncomfortable. The next thing I would like to talk to you about is um, about deciding which shade you want to use for your walls. I would definitely recommend everyone who is about to paint his walls to take those little cards with samples before you decide because I made a huge mistake when I was um, when I was selecting the shade for my atelier. I used to have this purple background and actually the card looked much lighter than the shade looks actually uh, in a real world than on the walls and I didn't want to make the same mistakes so I took the uh, shade that actually looked good to me with me. It's the number B40, uh, clear grey, it's by the brand Dulux. And when I have it here on my hands, you would say, okay, this is probably the thing you have behind uh, you, but no, it's not, because this one is actually much darker. So what I learned is to go somewhere in your flat to a window and put it actually on the wall next to the window and see how the shade looks like on the walls I'm gonna show you. Here you can see that the shade would have been really, really dark and I'm gonna put it next to the um, current shade that I have on the walls that you can see the comparison. So and here you can also see that it is um, darker than the shade that I have on my walls right now. So it was definitely a good choice to not to take this one, but to take a shade that is lighter. So it was really good thing that I took so much time uh, to select the shade and I also ended up with a different um, tone because this is B tone and I took the C tone which is quite uh, more cooler. And the funny thing was when I applied the tone actually or the first layer on the walls it looked almost purple and I was like oh my god I got the wrong color again. Am I incapable of selecting the right shade but once it dried it was beautifully gray and also this is the number 40 and I took uh, for my walls the number 30 which is also a bit lighter and it ended up uh, being the right choice uh, for me. What I really wanted is that the walls are going to be dark enough so that the white picture frames with the walls will stand out but light enough that the sofa will be still darker and that worked well. So I'm really really happy with the result and I'm really happy that I didn't just take the first shade that came um, yeah, that, that looked like it's the right shade, but that I really tested it out. So this is definitely something you want to do when you go to a hardware store and just really use the samples and take your time because once it's done, then, you know, it would be kind of pain in the ass um, uh, doing it all over again. So once I decided uh, which shades I want to have on the wall, on the sofa and like kind of around the whole room, I needed to do something with one of my ring holders. So this one used to be a copper shade a ring holder and um, I didn't want to throw it away and buy a new one. So what I've done is I just bought a matte uh, black spray paint and now it matches perfectly uh, my IKEA mirror and the other ring holder behind me on the shelf. Um, I applied two layers. I always waited in between until it dried and it was dry always in like 20 minutes. So this is definitely an idea for you guys if it's just a shade of your ring holder or some other device. You can always use spray paint and it just works fine. I was really happy to find those cups at Ikea because originally I wanted to make something myself. I was about to use mason jars again and to paint them um, in gray or black or and, and white, whatever. I, I didn't know yet, but then I found those cups and I found them so beautiful. So I, as you can obviously see, I use one for my brushes and uh, one for the orchid. They were, I think, actually originally designed for candles, but I think um, you can actually always use this stuff for whatever you want to. I have seen that they had bigger versions in the department with flowers anyway, so this is just, I think, always up to you what you do with the stuff. We are back to my window shelf. I wanted to show you the LED um, 
light chain that I use inside of my lantern. So there's nothing really special about it. It's just an LED light chain that I found on the Amazon with three batteries and it can also blink if you want to. So if you would want it like for for example Halloween, that would be an awesome idea. I used the same light chain when I made my this year's um, advent calendar um, in a shape of a Christmas tree. If you didn't see the video, link is below in the info. And what you also could do with this light chain is you could use it also inside of um, the glow in the dark ghost that I made for Halloween. Link is also in the info below. It's really quite great thing um, because then you don't need to have a candle inside. And I just stuff it in randomly and hide the part with the batteries. Um, underneath the lantern and there is a gap between the door and the sides of the lantern so I always kind of pull the cord through it and then close it and then I kind of readjust um, the part with the switch so that I can easily switch it on and off without uh, removing it and that's about it. I think it's a great idea. It looks great when it's dark. So I don't know about you guys but I feel really comfortable here and I think that this background is for filming so much friendlier and more personal so I'm really really happy I've done that finally because this room definitely needed redecorating because the colors didn't match and I kind of didn't really feel okay here. It felt always kind of weird like I'm in a cupboard you know or something like that and now it feels like okay this is how it's supposed to be the only thing that needs to be done is to organize the shelves on my left and that's gonna take a while because i like taking my time for organizing things because otherwise when i put things in different boxes and i do it too quickly i end up searching for things constantly so it's always for me um, better if I take like two weeks instead of two days and then I know where everything is and it's just so much easier for me. So that's it for today. I hope I didn't forget anything I planned to tell you and I hope that this video was at least somewhat interesting for you because anytime I film this kind of videos I'm always kind of unsure if you guys gonna like it at all because here I am talking about myself and my life and I'm always wondering is there even one person who will want to watch it and I'm always glad if people do and obviously once you go on YouTube everyone wants to have a lot of uploads and a lot of sub subscribers but for me of course it matters I would lie if I would say it doesn't but there is also the other side that I like on YouTube that even if you're a small youtuber um, there are certain people you can reach and I like really the fact that on YouTube I can talk about things that might help someone else and I learn a lot from other youtubers and I kind of enjoy that so even if just 10 people are gonna watch this video that's fine with me so that's it for today <laughs> thank you so so much for watching if you want to you can also visit me on Instagram and um, I found several links that might be interesting for you. You will find them in the info below the video. So just check it out if you want to. If you for the first time here, welcome. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel, mainly DIY and lifestyle happening here. And yeah, that's it. So have a great day. Bye, guys.